be the best official that we have in the world because this is going to be the best wrestling match we've ever seen. I, ha I feel it. Sadalayev getting a feel for Schneider straight away. The American on the chip and charge. Look at the athleticism from both. Comes around the Russian. Has he got the two? He most certainly does. Schneider chipped and charged for it. But the Russian took the points. It was almost Chamizo like kept his chest on his back, high, you know, high cartwheel over top of him. And Sadalayev uh, takes the early lead off of the offensive shot by Schneider. Both of these wrestlers, high pace, and when they get going, uh, can score multiple points in a short amount of time. Speaking of time, 30 seconds gone in this opening period, the engrossing final. This one, finally balanced. Likewise, is Snyder, who slides around and forces out Sadilayev for two of his own. One point on the board for Snyder with the step out. Uh, Tervel Delagnev coaching in the corner for Snyder, saying, again, do it again, keep the pressure on him. Snyder from uh, Woodbine, Maryland, and went to did his, did his senior year in Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center, and has just continuously gotten better and better and better. Beautiful shot by Sajalaya, gets to the single. And a step out point. Adding another point on the board for Sajalayev. Already in the first minute, some serious fireworks. They both know what's at stake here. Four points on the board. Both men looking for answers here. Snyder up against it. His attacks have been turned into counters by the Russian. Okay. The referee intervenes. Okay. Can be barely heard among the cacophony of noise here in Paris. A real treat here, halfway through the opening period. And again, they're, they're just kind of feeling each other out, forehead to forehead. I think Snyder is uh, rethinking straight offense against Sajalayev because Sajalayev is so good with sprawls and go-behinds. And when he gets his legs away, it's not just to stop a shot, it's to stop and score because his counterattacks are a uh, ultimate as well. An incredible atmosphere here in Paris. Both men surfing on the wave of encouragement. Sadilayev, of course, has the lead. Schneider has been on the attack. As you see, has rethought it. Tries to sneak in, gets a good hold of the neck. Can he get round the back? The Russian on the move, though. And really heavy hands by Snyder. Snap Sajalayev to the mat. Sajalayev, with his great presence, was able to cut a corner. But Snyder just changed his level and drove in and was able to get a two-point takedown. We're all tied at three, and Snyder has criteria if the match were to end right now. And I sure do. I'm sure I'm glad it's not ending right now because it's just great wrestling. You can hardly be separated. The crowd loving this wherever you are. I hope you are as well. Russia or America for the top of the tree. One of the things I know about Kyle Snyder is he has some, his hands uh, are like hammers and, and like sledgehammers. So when he starts to snap on the head of Sajalayev, you know, two, three minutes in, four minutes in, his lower back is going to be really sore. And remember, Sajalayev is coming up from 86 kilos, so he's a little bit smaller. The hand fighting that was done in that first period could make a huge impact in the last minute, but still, they're both champions. They both know. They both been here before. They both know how to win tight matches. And uh, you know, this is again. I heard earlier talking about Rocky IV. You know, I must break you. The Rocky Road to the title. And who's going to be the king of the ring at the end of this one? What a response from Sadilayev. Snyder came out. He was up in his grill. He was. And. Uh, Snyder tried the cartwheel that Sajalayev did, and Salaja, Sudalayev just grabbed his legs and took him down. But the snap down at the end, pulling the head of Sajalayev down to the mat. Uh, again, there might be uh, a little bit of fatigue in Sajalayev. Well, this is the biggest moment for both men. Highly decorated, world and Olympic champions representing their respective nations. The atmosphere in Paris, electric, the city of lights, providing a perfect platform for this final. Into the second period, Snyder has criteria. 
I have such respect for Sajalayev that he made this choice to come up and wrestle the best. He decided he didn't want to stay down at 86 where he knew he could win. He wanted to see where he fared against the best at 97. And uh, in my opinion, whoever wins this bout is the pound for pound number one wrestler in the world. That's kind of shouldn't be even said because it's obvious. Uh, but both of them. Schneider came so close to taking that two points. Tadjulayev sneaked back out of the trap. And Snyder was able to reface him. So uh, Snyder left his arm over top instead of going behind the arms. And, and Sajalai was able to capture the arm and turn and face him. Steps out though. Was it one continuous move? The referee this time gives the two for Team Russia. Sajalayev has the lead. And they said it wasn't a step out because he was still under attack. They, it has to stop motion and the action continued and that's why it was two points. It may have been better to step out and run away down the Champs-Élysées because Snyder two points down now. But most importantly, two minutes left. It's been a thought for both men. Decisions, counter decisions, moves, counter moves. The World Championship title, the team title and history. You really can't write a, write, a, write a better history book. You can't make this up. This is real life drama and you know all the marbles out on the table as they say the difference between fiction and reality well fiction has to be believable this one incredible and the drama just continues to build here both men having a quick look at the scoreboard well it's not for the score it is for the clock which is ticking away here Sedgelaev so absolutely strong a little uh, whip by throw by does it so well out of his underhook and his overhook. He was able to turn Snyder. Snyder uh, looked to be like he was about to take a, a level change in a shot, but Sajalayev was able to whip him through and not allow it. Sajalayev does a great job of holding the head right here and just creating some time. Uh, uh, you know, let the clock run a little bit. They're trying to run forward there was Snyder. Got a decent little hold around the waist, but Abdul Rashid Sajulayev sneaks around, but the American had him in a hold. Was it a continuous moving? Does yep. he get the single point? Just a single step out point. Uh, he was still chest on his back in a sprawl position when he stepped out. Under attack. Uh, now, hey, this is getting fireworks in the coach's corner too. So the official smartly goes to the corner and said, hey, let's bring it down. Let's let the wrestlers do the wrestling. Let you do the coaching. Well, they've got 30 seconds in which to do it. The referee's kept them calm. Schneider on the attack, tries to sneak round the back for the two. He takes it. He's in the lead here. The last 20 seconds. Sajulayev on his front. Schneider on his back. Well, do you believe in miracles? One of the things you know about Schneider is he's got great position. But what you know about Sajulayev, as he has incredible finishing holds, he can go when he needs to go. Schneider. Needs to be smart, keep his hands and head for the next 10 seconds. He needs to block him down in a beautiful little whip by by Sajalayev. Seat belt by Snyder. Into the last five seconds here, Sajalayev. He's points down. Schneider has the gold. Team USA, top of the pile here in Paris. Wonderful stuff, and what a way to win. By one point in the end. Not only one point in the end, but that's a team title for the United States. The first one in many, many years. And it all came down to the last bout of the night. They both put their heart and soul into that match. Bill Zadek, the head coach of the United States, and his first year as head coach, he creates a world title. Good job, Kyle. Move your feet to engage. Move your feet to engage. Slip out. Slip out. Good. Don't be good. 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 Good.
Two wrestlers separated by just six months. Similar age, similar style, similar success. Two of the best the sport has to offer, and they are at it. Here we go again. Team implications for both the United States and Russia. Individual gold medal on the line as the legacies for one of these two wrestlers will continue to grow. What you see Sajulayev really pulling down on the head right now of Snyder. Snyder, when he gets to his hand fight and gets chest to chest with Sajulayev, he's been known to, to knock down many trees. And if you're calling a man a tree, just pulling and getting him tired. Sajulayev keeping him at bay with his hands at this point. You go back to their last two meetings. 2018 World Finals in Budapest. Sajulayev was able to win on a fall, a bizarre fall in which he caught Snyder. And then more recently in the Olympic Games, a 6-3 decision for the Russian tank. Yeah, that was an interesting fall when he caught that back elbow, sat through and kind of backyard wrestled him to his back. The two did not meet in Nurselton in the World Championships as Snyder was knocked off in the semifinal round. Halfway through, period number one. And, and like I said in the, in the pre-match, Snyder not making any attacks right now. And he's going to make his attack, I believe, when Sajalayev is in period number two if he's going to attack. Right now, he's going to work the head. He's going to pull on Sajalayev's head, and Sajalayev going to do the same thing, where he's working his underhooks, working his head fakes, and going to look to create. It, it will be Snyder who goes on to the clock first. A good look at Cale Sanderson in the United States corner. So Snyder on the clock, not quite two minutes into this opening period. Snyder reaching and going to that wrist roll position and Sajulayev working his forearm right into the neck of Snyder. Trying to take the wind out. Now, if we see Snyder take that half shot again, don't be surprised to see Sajulayev exactly. blast through a counter attack if he comes up straight again. Sajulayev gets the point as the clock expires. one nothing for the Russian. And the two wrestlers jockeying for position. We have not seen one true shot from either wrestler in this opening period. I like the way that Snyder is, you know, fainting with his head and attacking with his hands and taking that shot, but his hands are never leaving Sajulayev when he makes those attacks. Blue contact. Where Sajulayev is great is when he gets you reaching at all. Two will break for their opposite corners. The activity point, Sajulayev with a one nothing lead. Let's start with the Russian corner. Things going well through the first three minutes for the reigning world and Olympic champ. I think this is what they expected. I think they probably expected that Snyder was not gonna to take a, any attacks. Uh, I, I think this is exactly the script that both teams wrote. For the United States, Cale Sanderson's message for Snyder. It's time to pick up your pace. 
it's time to maybe take a couple of one and two and three attacks, but keep your hands on him and keep your hands pulling on Abdul Rashid Sajulayev's head. Sajulayev with a one nothing lead as we start period number two. Has not lost a match since the world finals in Paris to Snyder in 2017. Over 55 straight victories for Sajulaya. And there's Sajulaya going to that chest wrap near the edge. the edge. And Snyder somehow avoids stepping out of bounds. Tremendous work by the American. That is a huge position for Snyder. And an attack for Sajulaya as he pulled Snyder's head down. We have not seen Sajulaya get warm for inactivity here. but And they're telling... They're saying to Snyder now, action blue, which honestly, Sajulayev has done the majority of the work and they're gonna put Snyder on the clock again in here just a moment. Sajulayev with the one nothing lead comes in again and as Brian talked about, here comes the whistle and for the second time, it will be Snyder on the clock. So a good job by Sajulayev to dictate the tempo a little bit. He's been the aggressor in the early stages. And, and the crowd didn't like that call. I know the Matt Judge white paddled that passive call, but the Matt Chairman did confirm. At this point, Snyder, if he's going down two after this activity period, he's gonna need to take some risks. It's like he is gonna be in the position down two points. Activity clock done, both points coming via the passivity, and now Sajulayev launches and strikes for the first time, has the wrench, drifts over to the right side of the body, and he will turn Snyder over, up 6 nothing, And that is why he's the best in the world. He can go from zero to 60 so fast, and he's the best in the world in parterre position. Six to zero is a huge gap, as we know, for Kyle Snyder. Sad July if he just waited and waited and the second big blast in this period gets him the two. And then like clockwork, he jumps on for the gut. And now Snyder in some real trouble inside a minute. He's gonna need some big holds here to okay, maybe a feet back. to back. And Sad July is so good with his hands, just said, I'm gonna snap you down to the mat, Kyle Snyder, and not give you an opportunity to get to my chest or my legs. At the age of 20 years, 104 days, Sajulaya became the youngest freestyle wrestler representing the Russian Federation of the former Soviet Union to win Olympic gold. He secured victory at the 2016 Games in Rio. Challenged by Snyder. And Sajulaya, 15 seconds away from capturing another world championship. The world calls him the greatest wrestler pound for pound, and he has put it on full display here in the spotlight in Oslo. Six-nothing, Sajulayev wins number five.